Hey everybody, Dr. Dan here, and this is week 15 of History 3380, Business Technology in American Society. And this week we're going to study a gentleman whose name is Robert Noyce, and you're going to watch a video called Podfather. Um, it's, a, it's, a, it's a long video, it's a documentary, but I want you to all watch it because Noyce is one of these people that you've probably never heard of, but he's he's at the same time, arguably one of the most important inventors um, in, in U.S. history. And, and I would say also, as far as business itself is concerned, his style of leadership and what he brought into the business world in Silicon Valley is, is worth noting. The other thing I want you to think about as, as we move forward, and I didn't really talk about it last week with RCA, but if you remember the beginning of the semester we spent a little bit of time on Alexander Hamilton and patent law and we talked about how important patents were to drive innovation you know you can bring that story full circle because as you've read about anyone from Edison to RCA now all the way to uh, Robert Noyce and, and moving on to Apple Computer that idea of uh, patents that protect um, inventions is important so you can kind of make that connection between all the way back to Alexander Hamilton to Robert Noyce and Silicon Valley so I just want you to think about that and that's something we'll have on the final exam there'll be a question about that connection between the past and uh, the emerging future if you will so think about those things so this week we're going to talk about Robert Noyce and he's you know, one of my favorite characters in the whole story. He's a, a kid from Grinnell, Iowa, a very intelligent, became an electrical engineer and moved out to Silicon Valley. And in the late 1950s, 57, 58, 59, the idea of the integrated circuit was already being looked at by many people at Bell Labs and, and other um, uh, electronics companies. And so the first um, uh, the first integrated circuit comes about in 1958. Uh, there was a guy named Kilby, Jack Kilby, who invented the first integrated circuit. And Robert Noyce, who you're going to learn about this week, came along and uh, per kind of perfected the integrated circuit from a standpoint of making it easily manufactured. So by being able to basically print these circuits, if you will, you could bring the cost of them way down. And when you when you watch the Podfather video, you'll see how this all occurred and how Noyce went out on a limb and started selling chips for uh, less than it cost to make them, but eventually the cost came down so much that it worked out really well for him. Now, you know, the company Intel, who's still around today, that's Noyce's company, but it, it wasn't the company that he founded right away. He worked for some other manufacturers. You'll learn about uh, Fairchild Semiconductor and how that evolved into Intel with people like like Gordon Moore and and uh, Robert Noyce, of course, and and Grove, Andy Grove. So it's it's a great story. The other thing besides the importance of the technology and the company is the management style that that Noyce believed in, and it was this idea of open management. Uh, everyone at Intel when it started had cubicles, and there wasn't any hierarchy. It wasn't like you know the president had a special parking space or a special office everyone was viewed as equal and everyone was expected to contribute so if you had ideas about a better way to to do something or a better invention uh, you could go ahead and contribute those ideas and it really ushered in this new era of workplace relations that we see mainly out west in silicon valley but also around here there are some you know innovative companies that that uh, don't treat workers like underlings but create an environment where everyone is equal. So a lot of that it comes from Robert Noyce as well. The other important thing here is just thinking about the integrated circuit itself. Um, you're going to read a, a New York Times story about the integrated circuit and I don't have to tell you how important it is. Um, you know, everything we do, do today, whether it's this video I'm making, the computer I'm making it on, uh, your cell phone, you know, everything um, in your automobile, what controls the electrical grid, what controls medical uh, devices, you know, it all relies upon the integrated circuit. So arguably, maybe transportation with the railroad is, is one of the big 
breakthroughs with technology in this country and then possibly communications with the telephone or the telegraph is another um, huge technological breakthrough but I think that you know the integrated circuit maybe eclipses all of them because nothing has affected uh, the way we live as much as the integrated circuit whether it's enhancing communications enhancing technology giving us the ability to uh, uh, program computers and to have computers that can can do calculations for us that that read our weather that um, you know run all of our utilities and and really um, something that we're really dependent upon uh, in this country so the integrated circuits important remember that it was invented in the late 1950s by uh, Kilby and then perfected by Noyce as far as manufacturing is concerned and um, make sure you understand Noyce's importance as far as being really the father of Silicon Valley not only in his inventions but in the way he reshaped the workplace in American history so um, that's it for this week I'll see you next week we're going to talk about Steve Jobs and I hope you have a good safe week thank you